All right, so I just got gas. And uh, if you already read the title of this video, I'm, uh, I am moving to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm pretty excited. I, uh, I really wanna take you guys on the journey with me because I've never really have lived by myself before. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little scared, but you know, hopefully this video will, you know, inspire some of you to take action and, uh, you know, take risks and to, you know, I know it's all sappy, but you know, the whole follow your dreams shit. Yeah, I've been keeping this a secret for some time now. I, I've known I was gonna be doing this for a few months. And the reason why I didn't really make it like a big deal until the day of is because you don't wanna tell people your, you know, what your plans are. Cause it, I feel like it messes with the, the flow, you know, the determination, cause you're, Someone said to me that if you tell other people your plans before you do them, your body doesn't know the difference. Your body already thinks you did. You, your body already thinks you did it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the journey that I'm, uh, I'm going on. You know, it's, good. It's, a, it's a little bit of a new era. You know, and growth is painful, but wouldn't trade it for anything. So excited to bring you guys with. Whew. All right. Just made a little gas stop. Got, I think, uh, about five, five and a half hours to go. We're currently in, hang on, uh, but Indiana. It's been pretty boring so far, this drive, as expected. Indiana is not known for uh, its spectacle. I went inside the gas station to get, you know, some water, some drinks and to go to the bathroom and I'm on my phone and uh, I, I got a hot take here. I, I don't understand people who post other celebrities and act like they're friends with them. For example, Drake will drop an album or announce he's going on tour or something and then someone's like sharing it on their story. And it's one thing to kind of just show that you're excited for, you know, whatever. But then there's like other stuff where it would just be like a picture of Drake at a restaurant or something. And then it's them like posting it on their story. It's like, bro, Drake, Drake isn't gonna let you hit it. All I have to say is, you know, make sure you, you know you zip it, zip it back up after you're done using it. Hear that? My car thinks that all this stuff in the passenger seat is a person because of all the weight. Actually, I lied, it's my big <laughs> Like a little out of tune B. All right, you better shut the f up. Thank you. You know, it is it is crazy. I would have never thought I'd be doing content creation full time. And it's now just kind of seeing how it's all led to this very moment. It's just kind of surreal, you know? I haven't really talked about this in depth because y'all just know me as, you know, the funny funny one-man band guy and of course you know I, I take full like there's nothing wrong with that at all I take full full stance with that but you know I was going to college I was studying uh, I first went to study music education kind of realized I didn't want to teach then I switched it to music performance and business and while that was better I still was not satisfied I felt like I could have been doing more my teachers didn't like me I didn't like the environment I was in. Uh, I met some people that are very, very important in my life, right? Even right now. It gave me a college experience, you know, for a little bit though. You know, you gotta remember, I graduated high school in 2020. Um, and as you all know, the world shut down at that time. So I actually never got to walk the stage or anything. So yeah, so my entire freshman year of college was online and it was terrible. I'm already a terrible student to begin with. I was never good with at school. I never really wanted to go to college. I, I really didn't. My parents really wanted me to, and uh, this is not a this is not a diss towards college at all. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm some sort of like motivational guru who like talks about you know invest in fart coin 
you know, college. College can be can be awesome. I had some good experience with co with college. You know, I'm glad I experienced some of the things that I did. Going to parties, going to bars, hanging out with people, making friends. I mean, that's what's important. You know, that's what it, that to me that's the best part about college. But on the other hand, it is a scam. <laughs> it depends on what you're studying. In my situation. I felt like I didn't need a degree. And that varies for some people. Some people want a music performance degree, and I'll power to you. What do I know? I put a drumstick on my hat, you know? But I managed to make a career out of it, you know? Not everybody can do that. God bless my parents, man. They just wanted what's best for me. So I can't be mad at them or, you know, they don't understand me, whatever. No, they just want what's best. So sophomore year of college rolls around and uh, I, I just stopped doing work. When it, when it was online, I didn't feel pressured to do my work. So I, I didn't pay attention. I didn't turn in anything. I, I mean, I there's a few classes where I damn near failed. And there were some classes that I did fail. But still, I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't happy. I actually... That's, and as soon as college started, that's when uh, the content creation started taking off. I remember just feeling so lost and confused, not knowing what to do. I, I wanted to do content creation, but there was this part of me that was scared to drop everything. I was so scared of what people would think of me. Because you gotta remember, all my friends were in college. Everybody I knew was in college and uh, it was just me and my team that saw the potential that we could do but it takes a lot of sacrifice so after a long time going back and forth I mean forever I decided to drop out of school to pursue being a full-time musician and content creator I would say that you know I did that and I didn't look back but man there were some days where it's all I did was look back. I, I had regrets. I was, I felt like I made the wrong decision sometimes. But you know, time passes. I also need to say too, when I dropped out, I wasn't making any money at all. I thought I made a mistake. I had a lot of nights where I, I questioned, I questioned, is this the right path? Is this the right path? So anybody who's watching this, who maybe is in their questioning phase, Stick around. If you feel if you feel it's right, because deep down, deep down in my soul, I knew it was the right thing to do, but it just like, you know, the outside circumstances and everyone is talking shit about you. And I thought about going back to school a bunch of times, let me tell you. I'd watch like motivational podcasts, like try to like, you know, hack my brain and, and uh, you know, combat depression. I wouldn't change any of it. All, all the sad nights, the nights that I, I were, I was confused. It, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything because it brought me to where I am now, and now I'm documenting my life. So I hope you guys are cool with me, just kind of bullshitting to y'all. You guys only know me as the, the funny drumstick cat guy or the, you know, the funny one man band, and I'm, I am, I am not complaining at all. That's, that's the best. You know, it's what, it's what we've been building on. You know, but. I feel like it's time to kind of expand. It's, it's time to show you guys, you know, that I'm, I am just uh, just a guy striving for greatness. It's all I'm looking for. It's what I'm, just to, just to be great, to help people, you know? To change lives, that's all I wanna do. I know the impact that I can have. I know the potential that I have. I have big dreams, man. And you know what's cool too? Because we're just starting long form, not everyone's gonna see everything in the beginning. So if you guys are watching this right now, y'all are part of something that's already huge, but it's gonna get 10 times bigger. And you guys can say, oh yeah, no, we were with Aaron from the beginning, you know, with the long form. So we're in Tennessee. alarm code so
Where's the alarm? How do I disable disarm? <laughs> All right. So I just got everything in. Uh, the next thing to do is make a little grocery run. Just kind of get some water, some little snacks, some pizzas maybe. House is pretty solid so far. I'll be honest, when I kind of first walked in, I was like, oh God, oh God, you know? But then, I don't know, it's not, it's starting to grow on me now. So I don't know, it's, it's a nice crib. Here's the leveling up. this opportunity and this experience to be more, to do more, to achieve more. I will say that I have at times overwhelming feeling of responsibility for my family. And no one really put it on me except me. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but at times I, I feel a bit like, oh shit, I gotta do all this stuff. But most of the time, I use it as energy and uh, put it into something positive and it, it really does fuel the work. When you grow up not having everything you want, but you wanna give everything you can, sometimes that, that weight can be a little bit, uh, a little heavier than normal and I think with moving and getting out of my comfort zone and getting into a brand new city where, albeit I'm not like across the country, right? I'm not like in Korea, but you know, it's, it's not as easy as, you know, just calling for my, my folks in the other room. Honestly, I, I am honestly just so blessed because I have such an amazing team who are also my mentors. I have an amazing family, an, am an amazing friend group, an amazing community that we've built thanks to you guys and i'm not complaining i'm not i'm not doing any of that it's uh the, the, really the reason why i am just sitting down and just talking is just because i just want this video to be as raw as it as it can be by no means am i do i have any self-doubt or no self-belief or anything it's just just talking you know just just kind of talking about my thoughts at the end of the day shit, we ball you know, that's, that's the, that's bottom line. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep pushing. It's no help just being paralyzed by fear. That doesn't do, that doesn't do any good. It's okay to feel a little anxious every now and then, but you know, you gotta, you gotta channel it into something positive. With that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some sleep. It's midnight. I should probably get some rest. It's a long road ahead. I'm about to buckle up. <sighs> So I kind of have made a decision on where I wanted the kit and the gear to be, and I'm, I think I made the right decision. This is a nice little background. Uh, you know what? Let me move the camera a little bit so y'all can see it a little bit better. Hopefully the neighbors like me. So 
I was uh, out getting groceries and some gear that I forgot to take with me, but I was passing through downtown and I'm like, you know what? Let's park. I want to walk through Broadway at night. I walked through Broadway a little bit. I think drove through Broadway last night, walked through it just a little bit earlier today when I got coffee. Just want to see what it's about. That guy probably works at Walmart or something. Hi. All right, so I had this idea to um, make music with the mirror, except this mirror doesn't actually make a wiping sound effect. So what I'm gonna do is take a wiping sound effect from online and put it in post-production. I'm debating on making a, a skit after the little musical part of the video, um, make it super unhinged and, and call myself out for, for making a fake sound effect. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I'm sorry, this shit's just, this is funny to me. I'm gonna like practice uh, just the coordination and stuff. So I got a little stack cymbal on the bass drum. Uh, we're doing, uh, Usher song. I think it's called Yeah. By the time this video is up, uh, this short will most likely be up. So you guys get a little uh, behind the scenes on it. I also want to do Lil Jon's ad libs like the Yeah! <clears throat> I'm not much of a screamer, so it's gonna it's gonna take a second for me. Do I even do the ad libs? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah! Okay! Oh shit, oh shit. Little John! I feel like my movement isn't like syncing up. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? See how it goes. Man is either stupid, useless, creepy, or evil. What's up, boys? I was cleaning my mirror and I noticed that it sounds familiar. Check this out. So I'm filming a video today. What else is new? Grass is green. So I'm combining some stuff that just makes me laugh, basically. I saw this video that somebody posted about uh, like a, a drummer boyfriend aesthetic. So I thought it'd be funny to kind of make fun of that. So for some reason, this meme has been in my head 
for the past few weeks. And the way I'm imagining it in the video is is hysterical, so we're gonna try it and just see what it see how it ends up. Damn, Shardy, you going absolute beast mode on my ding ding leg. What? I'm working on the drum segment of it. Uh, for once, I'm not a one man band in this video idea. All right, so yesterday marked exactly two weeks that I have been out here, and I am so pleased to say that I love it here. I love this neighborhood, I love the city, I love the energy, the people, the community. As you can see, I also have the mic on today as well, so uh, the audio is gonna be a little bit more crisp in these last few minutes, but I think for future reference for the long form videos to come, I'm definitely gonna use the mic a little bit more. So if you guys stick around and, and see how we improve each video, um, you'll see a difference for sure. But I really needed this for my creative process, my my artistry, my evolution as a, as a creator, and even as a person, you know, I think if you're able to move out of your hometown, I think it's, it's, uh, it's something that everybody should at least try because when you get out of your hometown, you kind of snap that pattern of the familiar, right? Um, when you come to a city, you, you process all the differences and even the similarities. There's a lot of things that I've seen and experienced out here that it's like, oh, that's, that's no different from being at home. I'm so thrilled that I got to document this as well because I think for those who are maybe scared of taking action or they don't have the right clarity on, on what they wanna do, maybe this video will somehow motivate you or inspire you. Um, you gotta take risks, you know, and that's, that's what I did. By no means is, is this uh, journey even close to over. I always keep saying it's the beginning and I really do think that because there's so much that I wanna do for you guys. There's so many ideas and visions that I have that haven't been tackled yet because we're just so focused on growing this community and growing this, this channel. So I'm looking forward to continuing to document my life out here and uh, just in general. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think of this video. Um, please be real with me. We're always trying to improve. We're always trying to just uh, just keep getting better for you guys. That's that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of style of content where I just take you guys through my day to day basis and how I am as a person because I am just a person at the end of the day. I'm a person who has spent thousands of hours into my craft and I continue doing so. I just want to help people. That's really all it is. I want to help people. I want to inspire people. I just want to do good for the world and for my family and my friends. And I hope you guys can rock with me like that. You know, I, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm a character and stuff, but doing something like this is just refreshing for me personally because it's not a facade, it's still me, but it's like an exaggerated form of me or it's me related to a joke or to a song, you know what I'm saying? So doing this and just kind of bullshitting to the camera, I feel like this is more of like a, a personal approach. It's like talking to a bro, you know?
So all one million of you are my bros. I hope you guys feel the same way about me because... If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Maybe somebody that you know will be inspired by this video. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to take all one million of my friends with me on this journey. So much love and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's gonna look so sick.